Oh, I'm about to drop a name. RFK Jr. Robert Bobby Jr. He is making them crash out. It is so nice when a plan comes together. All right. Don't get mad, okay? But RFK Jr. contacted me a while back. I'm not lying, okay? You know, people that say, I'm not lying, and they're lying. But seriously, he contacted me because I had this YouTube channel, little YouTube, my original YouTube channel that was taken down because of censorship. They said I was interfering in the election. That was one reason. And also they said I was spreading misinformation about, you know, the the thing, the, the plandemic that happened in 2020. So that channel's taken down. So I can't reference the video that I'm talking about that RFK Jr., he watched and contacted me. It was 10 years ago, and I was mainly doing the YouTube channel because I wanted to practice public speaking. That was the only reason, and you know, nobody watched my videos. It was just for that reason. So, I, you know, the person who challenged me to make a video every day to become a better speaker you be the judge. But I took the challenge. It was like a 30 day challenge. You make a video every day. You talk about whatever you want. And I happened to be fired up that day because I heard that nurses were going to have to take a flu shot. It would be mandatory to keep your employment in many states. So I was living in California at the time and you know how cuckoo California is. So I was hearing some rumblings about my hospital, Cedar sinai where I worked in, they were about to do something, make you go to flu school or something, wear a mask all flu season. So I was up in arms and I just opened up the camera and started ranting about why it wasn't right. You know, me, I'm just going on and on and it's horrible and I don't stand for it. And I told a story about my grandmother who was injured by the polio vaccine. And I just shared from the heart what that meant to my family. So the video ended up kind of being watched by more people. I would just have like three viewers. I was happy with that, you know, but this one caught on and I was contacted by RFK Jr. And basically what he told me, he said that he really liked what I was doing and he wanted me to keep it up. That was, he was like, it was really like, you could feel the passion. He was like, don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing. I was like, I will. I'm not going to ask what I can do for my country. I'm going to do what I ask for my country. I'm going to do something, okay, RFK Jr.? So this is what has the girls in a chokehold. They're clutching their pearls because Donald J. Trump tweeted, it says 22 hours ago, I'm thrilled to announce Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as the United States Secretary of Health, baby, and Human Services, HHS, to you. For too long... He didn't, he didn't tweet all that. I'm putting all my extras in it, sorry. Uh, for too long, Americans have been crushed by the industrial food complex. And you know, I rant about food and the dirty ingredients. Okay, let me just stick to this tweet. I'm sorry, I get hyped up. That's why I know this is my wheelhouse. <laughs> is it yours? Okay, back to this, I'll start over. For too long, Americans have been crushed by the industrial food complex and drug companies uh, who engaged in deception, misinformation, and disinformation when it comes to public health. The safety and health of all Americans is the most important role of any administration, and HHS will play a big role in helping ensure that everybody will be protected from harmful chemicals, pollutants, pesticides, pharmaceutical products, and food additives that have contributed to the overwhelming health crisis 
in this country. Mr. Kennedy will restore these agencies to the traditions of gold standard scientific research and beacons of transparency to end the chronic disease epidemic and to make America great and healthy again. So who has a problem with that? Does that sound bad? I'm waiting. I know somebody that's worried, and that would be Dr. Fauci. Because Dr. Fauci has been working in big pharma, big uh, whatever disease, and who did he work for? The uh, epidemiology, immunology. But anyway, he's the most highest paid government official. He's, I don't know, he doesn't even look like he is so rich. You know, you, I, I thought you were supposed to look good when you're rich. Like if I were rich, I would, I wouldn't look like this, you know, I'm just saying. But anyway, Dr. Fauci is going to be charged with crimes against humanity. You just hold on because RFK Jr. and Elon, the African-American Musk, he's on his heels because Everybody thought he was an authority. Remember, they were like, listen to Dr. Fauci, everything he said, but he was flip-flopping. And now, where are you, Dr. Fauci? We need answers for why you lied to the American people. Some of the people that are threatening to quit their jobs would be the FDA employees. Can you imagine the audacity? The FDA is threatening to quit their jobs if RFK Jr. is appointed. Like the garbage is literally taking itself out. So they got problems. So we know whose side they're on. They don't like these good uh, things that RFK Jr. wants to do. If they want to quit, yeah, so be it. And who else has problems? Of course, you know, Big Pharma is going to have problems. We need to pray for our brother RFK. All right. Keep the prayers going up for him. But it... You know, they're, they're criticizing him. He gets a lot of flack. Now, he's not a perfect person, and, and, and that's the thing. He's had his childhood, you know, sowing his oats. He's very honest and transparent about that. But you can't judge him from his childhood, his young adulthood, right? So, yeah, he, you know, he had a little fun out there. He's a Kennedy. They, they got some things, you know, we got to pray for our Kennedys. They're an American family. We love them, right? So back to my point. They're criticizing him because they're like, oh, you know, whatever. He's a conspiracy theorist. Always that, right? Because that's his uncle was, of course, if you question the narrative, that's where conspiracy theorist actually was coined around the assassination of his uncle, JFK. Interesting, right? So they're always throwing around conspiracy theory. If you're new to this whole thing, anything that's deemed a conspiracy theory is what you really need to look into. If you haven't figured that out yet. Okay, so what else? They're, they're, they had the former health person that Biden and Kamala Harris picked was, you know, Levine, the guy, you know, the, the lady, the, the man lady. The, the trans lady. And it, it was just the picks that the Biden-Harris administration had, they were, it was clown, it was a clown show. And to, to, to pick on RFK Jr. as if he has bad ideas, I am all on board. Now, I might have let you down, RFK Jr., because I haven't been talking about the whole vaccine thing, but I'm going to get back to it, okay? I'm going to get back into my research, and I'm going to share information, but I'm excited for him. I, You know, congratulations, Mr. Kennedy, and blessings and Godspeed. We, you know, many of us appreciate what you're doing. Because pharmaceuticals has run amok as well as big food. And we're going to get into that. Thank you.